the reality of a content creator slash business owner slash entrepreneur and what it's really like as we zoom in. The reality is creaky chairs, avoiding noises, cutting out erms, butts, and all this kind of good stuff is in the life of a content creator. You want things to be perfect. And what I've come to realize nearly two and a half years in being in content, but definitely full time over the last year and a half is that you can't make it perfect. You just have to start, keep showing up and improve daily. So. In this video, I wanna talk you through the reality of being a full-time content creator. But firstly, I'm a business owner, first and foremost, but content creation is a huge part of my marketing, so I have to be a content creator. And ultimately, what is an entrepreneur? Someone who creates things, someone who brings an idea to life, to fruition, and tries to monetize it and make a living from it, which is sustainable, right? That's what we're all trying to do, improve our lives one way or another. Content creation, though, is it as easy as it looks? You're watching me now on a screen. Have you seen the setup, the mess that's around me, the creaks in this freaking chair where I've done retakes, the notes, the writing, the planning, all this kind of stuff that goes into content creation isn't thought about from someone who is looking from the outside in. It's hard work. So let's just generalize content creation slash entrepreneurship because they are both the same thing. It's really ugly is the truth of it. That's the God's honest truth. You're always checking in the little flip out screen, making sure aesthetically things are set up. Audio's good. You don't want to trip over your own voice and stumble and this kind of stuff. We're always looking for perfection. But the thing is, if you're looking for perfection, you never make moves and you procrastinate and then nothing happens. So what I've learned going through this content creation journey is you develop an obligation to show up. So if you're trying to create content and you're trying to build a following, you have to remember you're building an obligation, your own obligation to show up every single day to serve your followers, AKA potential customers. You have to come up with new ideas all the time. All the time you're thinking, because it's so hyper competitive, this market of content creation, it's not impossible, but it's hyper competitive. So you're always thinking of the next video or writing, you know, writing down your ideas, whether that's in notes, on your laptop, on Notion, maybe you've created a little folder, whatever it is, you become somewhat of a writer and you're always jotting things down and you know trying to remember things that you've thought of when you're working out or you're commuting and you think oh that would be a good idea and then you're trying to put it into a structure of okay how do i turn that into a video you also are thinking about how can i monetize all the time how can i monetize and scale and bring in more cash flow because what you don't want to be, this is like worst case scenario, is you're a content creator for months and months and months, years and years and years, you've generated no money and you're just creating content but nothing's coming back. Which is why I always talk about I work on an 80-20 rule, 80% 80 I give in value through content, 20% I've got to be making money. Because otherwise, how can you even sustain the life? Equipment, laptops, ring lights, you know, I've got a boom stand here. Like it's expensive stuff really when you get into the thick of it. So you need to always be thinking of how can I monetize? But when I monetize, how can I make it sustainable? Which is why it's so important to have a commercial head, right? You need to start thinking like a business owner. Okay, I'm creating technically like digital marketing. How can I funnel that? into some form of a service or a product. It requires daily preparation, every day. Like even for today, I film typically on a Friday as of filming this, I had to prepare. I got my laptop, I got my notes, I'll do like a dry run just talking to myself. So preparation is key to any kind of success in content. You know, unless it's sort of like TikTok where, you know, quite frankly with TikTok, I'll just plug in the mic sometimes and I'll just talk to the camera. TikTok's extremely forgiving. Some other platforms are not as forgiving as TikTok. So, you know, you need to prepare and that takes time, that takes uh, mind power, you know, brain power, sorry. So you have to plan. You have to be innovative all the time. You have to be able to quickly jump on something. You know, you could be walking about at the gym and all of a sudden there's a chance to jump on some form of a trend in your niche that could help you elevate or you believe that you could do a very good video on this particular trend that's happening right now or perhaps you're gonna duet a video and you need to jump on it. You need to be quick enough to get straight on it and set up and, and get that video out there and get it out to the market and then push it. So innovation is key to continuous growth. Otherwise, 
you become irrelevant. And that's the worst. It's like an actor or an actress, you know, does anyone want you anymore? Are you outdated? Are you not relevant? Do people, are, are they not bothered about seeing you anymore? So like, these are all things you're constantly thinking of. Also, the fact that you have to serve. A good content creator is someone who serves people through information, through making them laugh, through tips and tricks, through reviews, showing up every single day. Because what followers and your community and potential customers are looking for is consistency in you. So something I sort of realized recently, I was struck by the flu and I, I was wiped out for like seven days. And I was thinking, oh my God, you know, I just can't do content. So in that scenario, I'm very lucky in the sense that I planned well ahead through good preparation and I had a backlog of content. So that's the other thing is having content in the backlog, you know, having it ready to go so that if you're struck by an illness or something like that and it wipes you out, you actually have to remember, although your followers and your community probably wouldn't wish you unwell, but they're still gonna wanna see your content. So even if you're laying in bed and you know, you can barely keep your eyes open and you're feeling like crap, they're still gonna wanna see content. So it's important to prepare well so that you've got a backlog of content ready to go. Also, it's being super mindful of what you say. That's the other thing is so many people now are worried about being canceled. So. You know, we talk about freedom of speech and content, but I mean, really, is it freedom of speech? So you kind of have to be on the cusp, on the, has to be very vanilla, on the line when it comes to what you talk about controversial wise, because if you become too big as a content creator and you start pushing that line, who's to say that your account just doesn't get wiped? And imagine having a half a million, a million followers on an account and it gets wiped. That could be your livelihood. So also just being very mindful what you say, because you could wipe out sponsorships, you could wipe out brand deals. You could have done a video a year ago that you've totally forgotten about and a brand puts an opportunity in front of your face. And what they wanna do is they wanna go and check out all your previous videos after the last year. And you've, sense, you've said something you shouldn't have they might not work with you. So, you know, it looks like glitz and glamour, but from the outside in, you know, it just seems very simple. It's not, like, it's hard. <laughs> like, being a content creator is super, super hard because it never ends. But here's the good news. I absolutely love it. You know, I get to do this. I get to do this as a part of my business. I get to create videos on a working day where somewhere else, someone else is perhaps in a warehouse or an office, you know. So I get to do this. I get to do this in the luxury of my own garden, you know. I, I really enjoy this and I, because I've been really authentic and transparent from the beginning, which is something I'd probably add in as well, is that I've been my true self from the moment I started content. So it's not been an effort for me to keep up my own appearance. Whereas if we look at some of the people that are really struggling with their mental health, especially now, they've become someone over so many months or so many years, and they were pretending to be someone that their audience initially took to. They've had to keep up appearances of being this fake person, and that's tiring, and that's where people end up going through this like depression phase because they're just tired of being someone else. So that's probably one of my biggest tips. Be you. Don't be boring because no one likes to watch, listen, or follow boring. You know, add value, provide great information, make people laugh, you know, give people tips and tricks and show them reviews. And if you're in lifestyle or travel or exploring or whatever industry or niche that you're going into, just make sure that you're giving value to people that are gonna watch you, right? And engage with them as well. And again, that's tiring. Like sometimes, you know, I give a lot for free. I do a lot of live streams. I do YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, LinkedIn, newsletters. Th then my businesses are serving a lot of people as well. So it is tiring, but I have to remind myself, I get to do this. And the alternative, Aaron, if you weren't a content creator, business owner, entrepreneur, you'd be in a job, mate. So you didn't like working in employment. So look, I absolutely love it. Also, I have a wicked, wicked TikTok growth program where the link and the description will be in this video, which is an all-in-one ultimate guide on how to thrive and grow an incredible brand and business on TikTok. It's extremely exciting. So the details will be in the description for that below. I also run free webinar masterclasses on 
learning how to escape the nine to five and start your own business and it's totally free and again the link will be in the description i hope you enjoyed this video the reality of being a content creator is really hard there's no glitz and glam it's not perfect you might get a few invites to restaurants maybe a couple of red carpets if you're big enough there's all those kind of perks free foods and stuff like that i absolutely love it it's well worth it but believe me looking from the camera right now you have no idea how much goes on behind the scenes so just remember that it's it's essentially another full-time job but it's your baby it's your business and you end up loving it so look i wish you all the best please do like subscribe let me know what your key takeaways in this video do you want to become a content creator if so what would you do let me know in the comments below and i will reply to you and until next time i'll see you all very soon